Hello and welcome. My name is Annette and this is Project Refined Life and we are on day four of five days, five VRs, which is a VR to Peekaboo Rose. Now the VR that we are tackling today is Desert Island Dex, which is a VR to Martin's Musings. Now I saw this VR being done by Tarot and Witchery just I think it was yesterday, the day before, something like that. I can't even remember at this point. However, I saw this and actually scrapped the VR that I had planned to come out on this day because this one is fun and it did make me think, what would I take if I had just a few items to take with me for 365 days? So here we are, let's get to it. All right, you just saw this book on my altar books video, Women Who Run With the Wolves. This book is an amazing book. And as you know, this is my old copy. <laughs> and I do have, um, well now what's become my backup copy, which is another used copy, but it's in much better shape than this one. Um, but this book, this book would keep calling my spirit back and keep calling the wildness in me back and the connection to those archetypes that I would need to bond with if I was somewhere for 365 days and to remind me of the pressures and the expectations of women and what we are taught to believe so that I don't fall prey to that within 365 days <laughs> in a desert island. So I just feel like this one has so much to teach. I love the way that it tells the stories and it gets you to think. And I, I just love it. So just earlier, my daughter and I were talking about La Llorona. So here we are. I just, you know, I kind of read a little bit of it to her because we were, you know, it's the beginning of September. So for me, September marks the official start of the Halloween season. So we were watching some scary movies and she asked about La Llorona. So I kind of mentioned that. So that's why my, my so-called bookmark is here. But there's always something to discover in this book. Even if you've read the story once before, there's always something new to discover and something that will just get you wandering and exploring new ideas and thoughts. I just love the perspective that this book comes from and just the interpretation of all of these myths. I just, I, I love this book so much. So this is it. This is the one book that I would take. Next, let's talk about the Oracle deck. So if I had, oh, see, here we go. See, I have to bump the camera at least once in every video. So there we go. That was my bump. All right. So if I could only take one Oracle deck, I would want an Oracle deck that can keep me connected to my spiritual practice. And this particular deck, which is the Tulku Oracle, has such a wide variety of myths and legends. And this one covers chakras and also gets involved with your archetypes and also totems. It's just such a beautiful deck. The way that the guidebook is written, the images themselves really pull you in. And, you know, whenever I'm looking at this deck, like if you just zoom in on it, you know, just looking at all these little specks and everything that's in here, like there's a whole world inside of these decks inside of these cards rather, not decks, but there is a whole world in here. And just looking at the beautiful images, the way that they're painted and the guidebook, the guidebook is just absolutely amazing. So let me just bring one thing up for you right here. So as an example, we have Shiva Shakti right here. It gives you a little bit of an affirmation. It tells you the elements, the symbolism, it gets into the oracle meaning, it gets into the reverse meaning and the teachings of it. So an oracle deck like this that touches on so many aspects and so many things that I relate my personal practice to, 
that this is definitely, this is the deck. This is the deck that I would take. I had to really think about the Oracle deck for me. That was like, it was pretty simple with the tarot, but with the Oracle deck, I really had to think about that. So let's get into the two decks that I would take with me, the two tarot decks. I thought about this and it wasn't as hard as, like I said, it wasn't as hard as picking the Oracle deck, but I did have to think about this. Now, full disclosure, I don't think I'm cheating here. I don't. This one is the accompanying book to this deck, the Spirit Keepers Tarot has so much ground to cover as far as understanding this deck and to fully understand the deck you do need the actual book that comes along or accompanies this particular deck so i don't think i'm cheating because you need this book to really understand this deck this deck is so full of symbology and there's so many systems your regular tarot system You've got the I Ching right here, and <laughs> I, you know what? I think I could spend a lifetime with this deck and still, you know, ask questions and still try to get to know this deck. This deck is so beautiful, but so intense. There's so much to learn. You have astrology and just... Oh, it, there's so much to this deck. There really is, and it's so beautiful. Like, I could really dig into this and just look at all the little images look at every single bit look at see look little little symbols on the bottom of that you see that yeah it just it's gorgeous there's little things everywhere in this deck like the more you dig in the more you see and i i could spend a year i could spend a lifetime with this deck especially with this book like this book is so full of information. It is, it is intimidating for me, I have to say, but I could easily spend a complete year with this deck and with this book. Okay, so one more tarot deck and that's it, just that. All right, so here we go. You guys have heard me talk about this deck plenty. This is the tarot Yohali Iteka. This is my Mesoamerican deck my Mexica deck, and it is full of these beautiful, just beautiful, lovely images. This deck is just so beautiful. Oh, it's all turned around here. But this, this deck, I could study this deck forever. And this is another one of those decks that you could just fall into the images and really put yourself in these situations. Now, the guidebook, which is an actual like book book, as you can see, the guidebook, this is where it's a real benefit for me if I were to have 365 days with these two decks because this particular book is written in Spanish and English. So not only could I really learn every little thing about this particular deck, but I could also learn it in Spanish. <laughs> it's a win-win, right? I don't know. I think that is just awesome that I could just take this and focus on my Spanish as well and get to understand how to pronounce these words because, of course, we were taught to forget how to pronounce our native tongue. So there we go. Those are my decks. I'm not gonna put that back in there. I'm just gonna show you these gorgeous decks that I would take with me. So we have the Tarot Yohali Iteka. We have the Spirit Keepers Tarot. We have the Tulku Oracle which is another just beautiful deck. And then to round it all out, we have the women who run with the wolves. I think this would keep me plenty, plenty busy for an entire year if I just spent an entire year with these three subjects. Seriously, <laughs> I think I could dig into that. I don't even think a year would be enough. So there we are. Those are my choices, my one book, my one oracle, and my two tarot decks. Martin, thank you so much for creating this tag, and I appreciate you guys all for watching. I wish you a beautiful day filled with love, joy, and happiness, and I will see you later.